Two Empires of Rome by Mr. Amster. Before you begin, please make sure that you have a sharpened pencil or pen and a highlighter. If you look on the map in front of you, you will see that the Roman Empire has been split in two, orange and a pink. Here's Constantinople, which is where the Eastern Empire had their capital, and Rome is right here. But the question is, why did this happen? Let's begin. Too much rock for one hand. Roman roads were well designed, allowing the Roman legionnaires, generals, leadership, and some of the more capable emperors to travel and to grow the empire to enormous proportions. This empire included most of Europe, northern Africa, and even into Asia. But that created problems. Problem number one. It's getting difficult to manage the empire effectively. Word went out from Rome, but the provinces didn't always do what they were told. For many of them, the capital seemed very far away. And you guys think that your parents have trouble getting you to do something after your sibling tells you to do something. Imagine having to do something with somebody telling you 5,000 miles away to do something. Two, it created a great financial strain on Rome. Taxes and trade goods were providing good profit. But so is the cost to maintain the provinces. There's a lot of money it takes to maintain things. Money was also needed to build new roads, support the legionnaires, and to enable more growth. So what's the problem? Rome needed more growth because they needed new regents to tax to refill the, to refill the treasury. In short, it's a vicious cycle. Please take a moment and highlight roads well designed, Europe, Northern Africa, Asia, grow to enormous proportions, difficult to manage, great financial strain. Rome needed more growth. Please feel free to pause the video at this time if you're feeling a little behind. Otherwise, we're going to keep going. Problem solving. When the old emperor died, the army selected General Diocletian to be the new Emperor of Rome. Now, as Emperor, Diocletian put price controls in the place to help stop inflation. He, in fact, he created laws that stated that if you charged more than the price limit, you could be killed. Anybody here broken a law around the house that mom set up? Imagine if you did that and you got killed. <sighs> Doesn't seem very fair, does it? But what it did was it made people want to follow these laws. And punishments for breaking any of his laws were severe. Better listen to your emperor, or else. What was the solution? Well, he also realized he needed to split the empire in half. That way it would be easier to manage. He created two Roman empires. Western Roman, and the Eastern Roman empires. Each would have its own ruler in charge of it, but the ruler who was in charge of Rome would often be considered the senior ruler. Please take a moment and highlight price controls, stop inflation, Law, if charged, 
more than price limit could be killed, breaking laws severe. Split empire in half, Emperor Diocletian. Easier to manage. Senior ruler in charge of Rome. Please take a moment to pause the video at this time if you need, especially because I'm talking very quickly, or we're going to keep going. The two emperor, the, the two empires. The Western Empire was made up of Europe and Northern Africa and included the city of Rome. It will limp along for a little while, but is eventually destroyed in 476 CE by the Visigoths. But we'll learn more about that later. The Eastern Roman Empire controls most of Turkey and parts of Asia and included the city of Byzantium which eventually would be known as Constantinople. Now Diocletian chose to rule the Eastern Roman Empire, placing a good friend in charge of Rome. But before he left town, he moved a great deal of Rome's money over to the Eastern Roman Empire, and he left Rome forever. While the Roman Empire of the West limps along for a couple hundred, uh, another 60 or so years, or uh, about 100 years after the death of Diocletian, the, the eastern part thrives, and in fact it won't even be destroyed completely until 1453 when Constantine is sacked, Constantinople is sacked by the Ottoman Empire. Please take a moment and highlight Europe, Africa, Destroyed, 476, Visigoths. Turkey, parts of Asia. Four fifty three CE Ottoman Empire. The end.